so first of all, we're going to talk about electrophilic substitution, right? Uh, which is the benzene ring we're talking about, right? The benzene ring. So uh, the benzene ring. So halogenation of metal benzene. Let's talk about this first. Uh, in the absence of UV light, right? In the absence of UV light, uh, electrophilic substitution of the pi electron cloud, we learned all this before, eh? of the benzene ring, will give you usually one product, but here we've got two products. Why? I'll discuss. With steamy white film. So this is not the first time we saw, right? So the benzene ring, we saw you react with Cl2, with halogen carrier, uh, give you white fumes, and then uh, a chlorinated product, right? So reagents, we have discussed. Conditions, we have discussed. Uh, why absence of UV light, you ask? Because this is to prevent FRS of the side chain, this one. Because this will be affected. You don't want this to become CH2Cl. You don't want this. All right? So normally you say absence of UV light. Okay? We do it in the dark. Cannot be too shiny, too bright. Okay? So all this discuss, nothing much. The correlation, white fumes, all right? So the only difference between this and the benzene is what? Is instead of one product, you have two products that come out. Is that okay? Two products, right? That we want to discuss. Why is it like that then? Let's take a look. In a while, in a while. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, next, we go to talk about the other reaction, uh, which is the free radical substitution of the methyl benzene, which is the side chain, i.e. halogenation. All right. So in the presence of UV light or heating, methyl benzene undergo free radical sub with chlorine or bromine for the side chain, meaning this one become this one in the presence of UV light. Let's recap alkenes. Mono, di, or tri substitute products can form depending on the amount of halogen present, how much you had here. Uh, substitution only occurs in the side chain though. Uh, this one we learn in alkenes can still control as a chemist with the use of limited amount of halogen. We use less. Then I will get this. Is it okay? If not, I might get this, which is bad because that's not what my friends want. I might get this or even get this, multi-substitution, which is not what I want. So I use less of this. However, in alkanes, we also learn free substitution can occur on any carbon atoms on the side chain. There is no control on the position. Now, this is not a problem for methyl benzene because all three is in the same position. Everyone okay? The 3H is the same position. It's the same thing. This, this, this is the same thing. It's not an issue. But it's an issue when this chain gets longer. Okay? So let me draw it out, ah, which is here. Can okay, you see? So we have FRS once again. Uh, if there is a so-called bit longer, this hydrogen will be replaced by chlorine. So you get this product substitution, right? But it could be this carbon, and therefore you get a different product. Yeah, free radical substitution once again. And can this be controlled? No, not at your level. So this is the problem in FRS, which will test you over and over again once again. Okay. If you would like to catch my latest videos, click on subscribe button right now. And click on the bell if you want to receive instant notifications once I've uploaded my latest video. If you would like to join my live chemistry classes and revision workshops, go on to winnerseducation.com and find out how you can score distinction for chemistry on a consistent basis, either in our center or online via Zoom. If you want to check out my online school, go on to passwithdistinction.teachable.com. You'll be able to learn chemistry concepts at your own pace and anywhere in the world, topic by topic. This is Sean Chua from Winners Education to your distinction in chemistry.